Mick Sorby, Algae, we're on uh, Church Street and we're stood in front of uh, where Casper's nightclub used to be. So what's the importance of this then? It was just where we worked, most of the time, <coughs> down Church Street. Yeah. Okay. <coughs> we to go downstairs. It's kind of hard on the main, but all on the main. This is where Jamie, <coughs> in there. I was there for about seven years. I, I had over a thousand fights in there. Really? Yeah, honestly. Was it, yeah. Was, so was this probably the roughest place in Antipole? This is it, it was the roughest place, yeah. Well, I mean, Richie Arsley said to me, he said, you really uh, earned your money. He did, yeah. Right. Yeah. I'll, so when did you start the doors on this place? Because you were kind of well known, I suppose, the police are saying like this, well, this is Mick Sorby's department. Was it yeah. the 60s? 60, 60. I started when it was done, 64, 65. And when did you leave? Like kind of... Uh, when I was... 69 I think I was. So that's what, 50 years? Yeah. So literally 50 years on the street. And I bet you've seen some stories. I have, yeah. I really have. Yeah. <laughs> but it's just up there. Yeah, this used to be this one road going through one. Just up there. I to touch these two lads out of my foot. Just generally nuisance as well. I never thought I'd have to put them out. One got a clip and they went. I was walking home, up there and around the oven, the best back over me. Is that where it was? Yeah. Where, just, so when just, when you put in there. Hartlepool born and bread that you ran over, was it just over just, there? Yeah, yeah, just up there. Right. I mean, as Philly, Philly, Philly Tobin tells me, it tells us a story of, um, and I think this is very much Hartlepool humour, where just where we stood here, where there was a guy kind of squaring up to another one as if kind of the Queensbury rules. And uh, you don't get a fair fight in Hartlepool. And uh, the guy was obviously offering him, a, as I say in Glasgow, a square go. And uh, at the last second, the guy, to quote Philly Tobin, kicked the balls off him. Did, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And is that just Hartlepool? Was that just, you know, I, su I suppose around here, and particularly that building, Casper's has well, seen well, a lot of... You have to go in there and you go downstairs. Right. And that was the joke in there. If you knock the fat fucker out, you had to carry him up by yourself. You had to right. go up the stairs and the stairs were like that, weren't they? So you work this door six nights a week? Yeah. Yeah. Right. And I used to look after all the pubs down here. How, how many pubs are you talking? Oh, there's about 12 of them now. So 12, 12 pubs on this yeah. road? Yeah, and I had some at the top end, right about... How many do we have? Where was I on the boat? Right? About 20 pubs, we had about 40 or nearly 50 dormant working for us. Mm. Yeah. And obviously you sold it to Dave Garside eventually. Dave Garside and Terry Rich yeah. bought me out there. So how many how many pubs are left now when you say Not a lot, there's um The road back at the very bottom, then it's yeah, about it's shut, Is it shut? Oh there's well, about three. Is that it? Yeah. Yeah. So the town's the town's dying, there. isn't it? Yeah. That's that's not about the pub. John Gates is pub riders. Right. Yeah, I'm just saying, Philly, the story um, where the guy squared up to him as like a boxer and then kicked the balls off him, as you said. Oh, so yeah. this was here? Yeah, it was a beauty, yeah. Yeah, and the typical Hartlepool? Yeah, <laughs> it was good because the, it's the tricks you learn over the years, you know, when you're kids. Yeah. And, and you see, you forget about them as you get older. Yeah. But this lad, he squared up to him. And he just kicked the nuts right off. Game over. Well, you just fall about laughing, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Even the women. Yeah. So yeah. when did Casper's close down? Because this is that right in saying there was two murders in a year? Yeah, there was, yeah. yeah. Right. When did it close down? Um, after the second murder. <laughs> yeah, I can't remember the date, but after the second murder, they shut us down. Yeah. Right. Yeah. They just kept coming in week after week, <coughs> but the excuses like, Oh, you've got four too many, I've done head count, you've got four too many and things like that. Really? <coughs> yeah. yeah. I suppose it's, uh, it's that, I mean, that place, we put it on the back of your book, Hartlepool Born and Bred One, and the front cover is kind of, a lot of people will remember that as like growing up in Hartlepool, that was their yeah. place of nightclub and that was their generation, if you like. There's a, another one just down here, the Fight Club. Nice way Fight Club? What was that what called was, then? What's it called then? The, uh, the Lighthouse. The Lighthouse. The Lighthouse. Everybody called the Fight Club, because you fought every night you went in. Really? Yeah, now I'm only just going back two, two and a half years ago, I was there. Right. Yeah. yeah. The, the Manhattan and the Carlton. Manhattan and the Carlton, I went on them. That was, I yeah. went uh, It's just round the corner. Yeah. It was one of the first, wasn't it? Yeah. Apart from the Riff. 
Yeah, the river was the best neighbour, wasn't it? Yes.